When it comes to YouTube optimization, one of the things that I see most commonly underutilized is the YouTube descriptions. But how important are YouTube descriptions now anyway? And how can we maximize that space in order to set up our videos for maximum success? G'day my friends, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and on this channel I share tips, tricks and strategies to help you engage your ideal audience to action through effective video marketing strategy. If that sounds valuable to you, then hit that subscribe button so that you can join me for more videos in the future. When it comes to YouTube optimization, you probably already understand that there is a certain hierarchy of importance of things that you need to pay attention to, to ensure that your video is set up for optimum success on the channel. And first and foremost is the content itself. So you see awesome content that quickly engages your ideal audience and keeps them watching should be your number one goal for YouTube. You can watch this video here for more tips on what should actually be in your video. But when we're talking descriptions, what we're really talking about here is metadata or what you can control around your video to ensure it's optimized for success. And when it comes to YouTube optimization, there is a hierarchy of importance to understand so that you can determine where the description fits in. At the top of this hierarchy is your thumbnail. If your thumbnail fails to attract attention and encourage an audience to want to watch, then you've lost before you've even got started with your video. Next and closely related to the thumbnail is the title of your video. Again, this is critical to get right, both from a search perspective and more importantly, from your audience perspective. So how is your title encouraging someone to want to click through to your video? And once you've got those things nailed, now it's time to write a killer YouTube description. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna break down for you some of the best tips that I've come across and that I encourage our clients to use when they're writing the description field of their YouTube videos. So first of all, as you probably know, YouTube is one of the largest search engines in the world. So the first thing to recognize is that descriptions can convey valuable information that really helps viewers find your videos in search results. And importantly, from a human perspective, understand what it is that they'll actually be watching. So when you write good descriptions, you need to consider adding the right keywords and key phrases but importantly, you wanna be using natural language, not just a stream of keywords. Remember that we're writing for the audience first, and the algorithm second. You wanna to plan to work the most important keywords for your videos towards the beginning of your description, ideally in the first three lines within about 140 characters. This part will appear in the search results and your video watch page above the show more link. So really take the time to consider what is going to be featured in this section. Take the time then to do your research on what keywords or phrases are going to be most valuable to target for your video. Tools like Google Trends and Google Ads Keywords Planner can be used to identify popular keywords or one of my favorite tools, which is TubeBuddy. So check out the link in the description for an awesome free trial of my favorite YouTube growth tool. So do your research and get some of those keywords and key phrases into your description as well as in your title. Currently, as of the time of recording this video, you've got a maximum of 5,000 characters allowed in that description field. So you really wanna maximize your use of that. So I want you to think of your description in two parts. First, you've got what the viewers see before they click show more. So that's effectively the first 140 characters. Think of it like the size of a tweet, right? And then you've got what they see after they click show more. That's where you can be really strategic about what you include both for this video and with respect to your overall channel and business. There's a lot of value that can be gained by thinking about it in this way. The first three lines are your priority here. So in many cases, a viewer will actually scan the description both when it comes up within YouTube search or when they click on your video, they'll do a quick scan of the first few lines of the description to ensure that they're in the right place and that this is a video that they actually wanna watch. So you wanna to get to the point here and write a compelling sentence or two that outlines the value that someone will get by watching your video. And consider putting one clickable link in these opening lines where it's highly relevant to your content. So by clickable, I mean making sure that you use the HTTPS colon slash slash stuff like that in the URL. So doing this ensures that it becomes a clickable hyperlink. 
Now, below those first three lines, that's the place to add a further paragraph or two, adding context to your video and any other key information about the video, your channel, and even links to social networks or your website, or trackable Bitly links or an affiliate link to something that you're referring to in the video. And it's a great idea to actually reference some of those links within your content. So shout them out. Say, there's a link in the description of this video, for example, just like I did a moment ago. I recommend here to use the upload defaults for your descriptions. But a caution, if you are using the default description functionality, you wanna make sure that each video has a unique description, or at least a good portion of your description is unique to each video, which makes it easy to find through search and makes it stand out from other similar videos. So don't just use the default templated description on all your videos. To really take your descriptions to the next level, you'll also wanna consider interactive elements such as timestamps or chapter markers. Now timestamps are clickable links in your description, which will help viewers skip to important parts of your longer videos or skip back to reference things that they may have missed or that they wanna rewatch. To add timestamps to your description, simply add the relevant minutes and seconds using a colon in between like this, and they'll become clickable on your watch page. And what you're doing there is adding chapter markers to your video, which is super simple and highly effective. And a quick side note here is as of the time of recording this video, YouTube is actually trialing the searchability of these chapter markers. So effectively your chapters will start being returned in search results. So someone will be able to click right through to a specific chapter in your video where it's deemed relevant in search results, either on the YouTube search or the Google search page. So that just really emphasizes the importance of using relevant chapter markers in your content when it makes sense. Now add to that, using some interactive features like timestamps in many cases will actually encourage higher retention as viewers will be able to use your video as a resource so that they can go to a specific part of interest in your video. Another aspect to consider for interactivity in your descriptions is linking to playlists of related videos or tagging other creators or collaborators on YouTube. Now, once you've done the work to write a highly effective description on your YouTube videos, then you wanna take the time to actually measure the effectiveness of this too. So I recommend taking some time to find out how your description looks on different pages and devices, checking what can be seen above the show more link in different scenarios, and also paying attention to how your video performs in YouTube analytics to see if your video is attracting the right viewers through the right keywords and key phrases. So to do this, just have a look at your YouTube analytics and check what keywords are leading people to your videos. If any major or important keywords don't appear in your search report, it may be because you never added those words into your descriptions. So act like you're the viewer or the audience and pretend that you're searching for your video. What would you type into a search bar? Those words should be in your description. It's as simple as that. Now, what about hashtags in YouTube descriptions? Well, hashtags are relatively new in the scheme of things for YouTube, and YouTube does recommend that you use related hashtags in your video descriptions to help viewers find your video when they search for a specific hashtag. So you'll wanna use hashtags in key parts of your descriptions just within the natural flow of the written content, and you can use up to 15 hashtags. However, don't go overboard because YouTube will ignore any hashtags that is more than those 15. So your first three hashtags within your description will also be highlighted above the title line on your video. So think really carefully about placement of hashtags within your description. A caution here is to only use hashtags that are directly relevant to the content in your video. Don't try and game the system by using unrelated or popular hashtags that don't have anything to do with your video. It is a good idea though to capitalize on trending hashtags when they're relevant but only when your content is about that same trending topic. And finally, here's a pro tip, particularly for those channels within the YouTube partner program and monetizing their videos through ads. Be careful of the words that you use within your description to ensure that you're using advertiser-friendly words. Now, YouTube advertisers can target videos to place their ads based on the keywords and phrases within the video and the description. And equally, they can also choose words or content to avoid running their ads alongside. So you'll definitely want to avoid profanity or anything controversial or sexually suggestive, even if you're being funny or ironic. 
or it's otherwise not offensive within the context of your description, but you just want to be careful of avoiding any of those words or keywords that potentially could be flagged as any of those things because they may actually prevent advertisers from choosing to run ads on your video and that will affect your monetization. And remember, the content of your descriptions is editable at any time you wish. So following this video, I recommend you take some time to look at your channel and the descriptions that you've got. Are there things that you can do better? Can you update some parts or add some timestamps or chapter markers? To make this job super easy, why not check out TubeBuddy's bulk text replacement tool to make this job as easy as with just a few clicks. Check the link below for your access to TubeBuddy. And when you're done tweaking your descriptions, I recommend you keep your YouTube journey going by watching this video right here next. And be sure to leave me a comment to let me know which tip you found most valuable as you make killer YouTube descriptions. I'll talk to you real soon.